Yo, good morning, everybody. This is Cliff with Pen Flamingo Power Wash. Uh, back with another video for you guys doing a pool deck over here in the pool screen. We're in Carrollwood, Florida. Um, today we got a few jobs on the schedule. This is the first. Um, nothing crazy, you know. Just going downstream the screen and also the pool deck. Um, and we'll be out of here. So let's check it out. So like I said, it's nothing major. We're just doing the pool screen, doing our pre walk around to make sure there's no blown screen areas, no holes on the screen, anything like that. So they had this deck painting not so long ago. So therefore, we gotta go really low pressure on it. Got a lot of pollen on the screen. It's pollen season in Florida, so I've been doing, I've been doing, oh look at this side. I've been doing a lot of uh, screens and uh, pool decks. But uh, this is an easy job. Should be out of here by the hour. All right, guys, let's get to work. All right, guys, we're gonna start downstreaming this um, pool enclosure. Like I said, I always do this outside first, then go to the inside. Also, on the screens, you don't have to do. You don't have to go too crazy on your surfactant, because all that's gonna do is. It makes you, makes you uh, rinse a lot. So uh, on the screens, you ain't gotta go too crazy, man. So the, in, the outside of the enclosure is all soaked up. Let's move on to the inside. Guys, we all done here with this job. Came out fantastic. Um, I lowered my throttle on my pressure washer about halfway because this is a painted deck and I didn't want to put too much pressure on it. That's another way I use to, I'm saying, to make sure that you know I don't tear the paint up. Uh, the paint's kind of fresh, so I don't, it's not cured probably. So um, at least cured the amount of time it's supposed to be. So therefore, I, I lowered my throttle a little bit about halfway and um, came out good. Let's check it out. Floor came out looking good. Screen is good. Still drying. But nonetheless, everything came out great. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next job. All right, guys, we all set up with a second job. We're doing a gutter cleaning. This one is really bad. Also gonna be doing the driveway over here. Uh, and also in the back area, there's a patio. We're gonna be doing this patio back here. Nice little profit on the water. All right, guys. Let's get all these gutters cleaned up. All 
All right, guys, the gutter's all cleaned up. Got everything flushed out. These gutters were packed. Everything in here was packed like a carpet, man, I swear. But it's nice and clean now. I'm gonna move on and um, knock out the patio in the back and move forward and hit this uh, driveway. There's two driveways, there's one right here and then one over there. Then, um, you know what I'm saying, pack everything up and head to the next job. guys project is done got the uh, gutters clean got both driveways clean and the uh, patio oh man I just walked all over the driveway man look guess I gotta rinse that before I leave anyway but um we're gonna go ahead and uh, pack up just make my walk around make sure I leave my tools and we're gonna head to the third job for the day. Busy day. All right, guys, we all set up right here with this, um, what's this, the third job of the day. Um, I'm doing a pool deck. This is my, actually my second time doing this pool deck. I did this about, about a year ago. Uh, the customer called me back because uh, she's having company over for Easter and wants me to go ahead and take care of it. Last time I did it, it looked real bad. So let's go check it out and see what it looked like now. Oh, here we go. She back looking almost the same way. She has a lot of trees around here too, that's why. All right, we're gonna downstream the mix and then uh, surface clean it, bring it back to life. done here with the pool deck like I said it was an easy job man downstream and um surface clean man let's check it out all right pool deck is clean ready for Easter all 
All right, on to the next job. All right, guys, we're in Hudson, which is about an hour north of Tampa. I'm here to knock out this, these soffits and the fascia of this house uh, for this customer that the HOA sent him a fine for a thousand dollars. But uh, like I said, I'm not doing much. Just want to get all that clean up there. Get this clean as possible. They got some paint on there. But um, it's really, really dirty. Look at that. I don't know. This probably never been cleaned before. Man, somebody couldn't paint. Look at that. So I'm doing the soffits all the way around and the uh, fascia of the house. And um, that's all, man. I know a lot of guys always saying, you know, they don't want to do this, these kind of jobs, but it's $300 right here, man. I'm not gonna pass this up. So guys, I always wet down the house first if I'm just doing the soffits and the fascia, just so I don't get no clean streaks on the house, so it makes it easier. Turn the soap on and I'm gonna soak from here all the way around, let that dwell about a good little while, and then rent's coming back this way. This is the worst side. I don't know if you guys can see the edge of that. Man, that's horrible. So I got the, uh, this one side done. It's coming out pretty good. Um, I might come back with uh, with my brush and straight SH, just go across it, just to get the remain remaining of the stubborn algae that's stuck on there. is done got the fascia looking good everything looking white nice and clean this right here was the worst side as you see no algae guys we are done for the day project came out good as you saw um, all I did was the fascia and the soften 300 bucks an hour and a half I'm out of there you know what I'm saying a lot of people won't do them unless they're doing a whole house wash but I'm not gonna turn down 300 bucks for an hour and a half uh, I got the lead from another pressure washing company Apparently she called somebody else and they, they told her that she they was out of business and they passed the lead to me. I live an hour away from here. So I gotta pay it forward, man, and get somebody else a lead. But uh in the meantime, man, y'all get y'all don't have to do a whole house, a whole house wash when you're doing the soffits and the facials. You can still get money out of it. So uh, until next time guys, I'll catch y'all in the next video.